very good afternoon to all my dear students. Let me introduce myself. My name is Harshita. I am studying AT Techno. Today, I want to teach you physics regarding the topic differentiation and integration. Now, we will learn about constant and variable quantities. If the value of a quantity remains same in a mathematical operation, it is known as a constant quantity. Examples, integers, fraction, pi are the examples of constant quantity. Variable quantity. If the quantity takes different values in a mathematical operation, it is known as a variable quantity. Example, in the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3, here x and y are known as variables, whereas 2 and 3 are known as constants. Variable quantities are divided into two types, independent quantity and dependent quantity. So, in the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3, here x is independent quantity whereas y is dependent quantity. Differentiation. What is differentiation? The process of finding differential coefficient of a function. The symbol of differentiation is t by dx. The derivative of a constant is 0. Let y is equal to f of x is equal to c. Here c is constant. Then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of c is equal to 0. The differential coefficient of exponent is obtained by the decreasing the power of x by unity and multiplying by n. If y is equal to x power n, then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1. Here there is an example, differentiate y is equal to x power 10. Here we have to substitute the values in the given formula, then the answer is 10 into x power 9. Next, the derivative of a product of a constant and the derivative of the function is equal to the product of a constant and the derivative of the function. Let u be the function of x and t is the constant, that is y is equal to cu. Then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of cu is equal to c into du by dx. Here there is an example, differentiate y is equal to 8 x power 8. Then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of 8 x power 8 is equal to 8 into 8 x power 8 minus 1 is equal to 64 x power 7. And the derivative of the algebraic sum of the two functions is equal to the algebraic sum and the derivative of the two functions. Let y is equal to u plus or minus v plus or minus w plus or minus where u, v, w are all the functions of x. Then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of the given function is equal to d by dx of u plus or minus d by dx of v plus or minus so on. Here, here is an example, here we have to substitute the values in the given formula, then the answer is 12x cube minus 4x minus 10. Next, rules of differentiation. Product rule. The differential coefficient of the product of two functions is equal to first function into the second function plus second function into the first function. Let y is equal to u v, where u and v are the functions of x, then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of u v is equal to u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. Question two: The differential coefficient of two functions is equal to second function into the derivative of the first function minus first function into the derivative of the second function divided by the square of the second function. Let y is equal to u v where u and v are the functions of x then dy by dx is equal to d by dx of u by v is equal to v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx by v square. Here there is an example we have to substitute the values in the given formula the answer is 3 by x plus 1 whole square. Integration. What is integration? The reverse process of differentiation is known as integration. The symbol of integration is allognated S. Fundamental formulas of integration are integral dx is equal to integral 1 into dx is equal to x because dx by dx is equal to 1. Integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Here also there are remaining formulas. Next, rules of integration. There are four rules of integration. Rule number 1, power rule. Integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. 
Here there is an example integral x square dx is equals to x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 is equals to x power 3 by 3. Here, uh, here another example, here also we have to substitute the values, then the answer is x. Rule number 2. Multiplication by constant. Integral c f of x dx is equals to here c is constant. So that's why we have to take c outside then c integral f of x dx. And rule number 3. Sum rule. Integral f plus z dx is equals to integral f dx plus integral z dx. Here there is an example integral 3x plus 4x squared dx. Here we have to substitute the values in the given formula. The answer is 3x squared by 2 plus 4x cubed by 3. And rule number 4, rule of difference. In, in some rule we have to keep plus. In difference rule we have to keep plus instead of minus. Then the result in the answer is 3x squared by 2 minus 4x cubed by 3. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you.